What's happening, Magnesites? Oh, okay. You can tell that I have barely been up for more than about 40 minutes. I swear to you, look, I, I, I went to bed. I wake up. I am inundated with text messages on my phone. Uh, Chris McGregor, a uh, good friend of mine, messages me. He's done it again. And I'm like, oh my god, it's deja vu. I swear to you, I need to make a playlist every single time. I swear, it's the yearly John Jones incident. Okay, so, after everything that's happened with John Jones, for everybody that doesn't know, and how could you possibly not at this point? Oh my goodness, and I'm still in my pyjamas. John Jones has a USADA violation. He has failed a test. There, the rumour is it's a particular type of steroid. We'll wait till that part's disclosed because I won't confirm that until that is disclosed and it's made official. But from everything that I have read, he has failed a test. Um, this was a pre-fight test uh, leading into the Daniel Cormier fight. And um, I almost feel like that Nate Diaz quote applies here. And I can't really use the, the rest of the word because I want to get some, guys, some, some kind of uh, ad revenue here. But you know it. I ain't surprised, mother. My God. My God. Do you, do you know what? I, I, I'll have to say this, first of all, when, when I really get to the meat and potatoes of it. You know, after he fought Daniel Cormier, what a great story. The comeback here. Great fight. Wins with a head kick. Beats a fantastic Daniel Cormier. Um, does a great post-fight interview, gets everyone excited for a fight with him and Brock Lesnar, publicly kind of being a little bit more humble towards Daniel Cormier, and you know trying to squash that that beef as much as best he can, all of that. And I do remember a friend of mine saying to me, and it was it was a friend of mine called Matthias, saying to me, "We'll see in two weeks. We'll see what happens in two weeks." And you know what? I kind of did get that feeling, you know what, we'll, we'll, we'll know in a few weeks, you know, we'll see, we'll see. I hope that this is the beginning of a new start for the man. And then I will go to bed, and I wake up, and it's the same thing. It's like deja vu, deja vu, vu. sorry, listen, I've, I've barely been awake a little bit. It's deja vu. It's like last year with UFC 200, and there was that failure there. And the year before that, how many incidents were there? There was the um, the cocaine situation. There was the hit and run situation uh, after that. Um, it just it just gets ridiculous with this guy. It, my goodness! I uh, let me have a sip of my water. I'm sorry. You get these with the Tesco meal deal, by the way. That's because I'm that cheap. But hold on. You know, it goes back to something. Um, there was that one time when there was that pre-fight screen, you know when they do that test and then they, you know, his body's levels were dangerously low or just really, really low and it would lead many people to believe that he was taking something like a masking agent. At this point, I'm just, I don't want to have my intelligence insulted. If this is some, um, apparently one person in his camp has called conspiracy. I would love for you to have all the facts and the evidence to prove it. I would love to believe that this is not true, but bloody hell, I mean bloody hell. And I feel really bad for Daniel Cormier, because it's the, the, what, the, the, the third time he's gone through, or well, second or third time, well second time really, he's gone through this, where, well third time, where John has beaten himself and the ripple effect it has on everyone else. We just saw how emotional and how shaken up Cormier was after losing the second time. And now he finds this out. And I mean, talk about leaving money on the table. Like, <laughs> fuck, if, if, if this goes down, he's suspended for a very long time. That fight with Stipe Miocic that Dana was talking about is now off the table. For, for, for the foreseeable future. The Brock Lesnar fight is out for the foreseeable future. And you know that that's something they really wanted to do. And I fucking guarantee you if this hadn't happened, we would have seen John Jones versus Lesnar 
towards the end of next year and um, you know oh jeez 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 I don't, I don't know what else there is to say about this it's like it, it always seems to happen with this guy and I really would love to believe that there's some conspiracy but you know, don't in don't don't insult my intelligence. It's just oh jeez, jeez. So they have stripped him off the title too, by the way. So I wonder what's going to happen. Does Cormier get the belt back? Is there a tight for tight fight for the vacant title? Who knows? But I, I'm done <laughs> with this video. Not not in life. I'm done with this video. Um, wow, 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 wow. I'm surprised, but not surprised, guys. Take care. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of this John Jones incident. Let me know. Fuck it. But this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Let me know what you guys think. Take care and uh, peace.